KK Women's and Children's Hospital and the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute jointly presents the role of TEP block in obstetrics and gynaecology. The objectives are to demonstrate the technique of transversus abdominis plane block and review its role and clinical utility in obstetrics and gynaecology. TEP block is widely used to provide analgesia to the anterior lateral abdominal wall. Recent literature suggests that this block may be used to help decrease post-operative pain and laparotomy for gynaecologic surgery and may help with earlier discharge. Knowledge of the technique for this block may assist the gynecologist and anesthesiologist to help provide this option for a greater number of patients. It is important to understand the anatomical relationship of the musculature and nerves of the abdominal wall. The musculature comprises of the external oblique, internal oblique, and the transversus abdominis muscles. The transversus abdominis plane is the fascial plane that lies between the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. The sensory supply of the anterior lateral abdominal wall arises from the anterior rami of lower six thoracic nerves and first lumbar nerve. The branches traverse the transversus abdominis plane to supply the skin, muscle, and parietal peritoneum. T7 to T9 supplies the skin above the umbilicus, T10 supplies the umbilicus, whereas T11, T12, the iliohypogastric and ilioiguinal nerves supply the skin below the umbilicus. TEP block is a fascial plane technique where a large amount of local anesthetic agent is injected into the transversus abdominis plane to achieve sensory blockades of mid-lower thoracic and upper lumbar nerves. The equipment required include aseptic skin preparation, sterile gloves, 20 mil syringe, 22 gauge spinal needle, and long-acting local anesthetic agents such as ropivacaine and bupivacaine. In the operating room setting, Patient monitoring equipment and resuscitation equipment would be available. For the ultrasound guided technique, ultrasound machine with high frequency linear transducer with sterile probe cover is required. There are two techniques to perform this block, the surface landmark technique and the ultrasound guided technique. The lumbar triangle of petite is an important anatomical landmark. It is bound by the external oblique anteriorly, the latissimus dorsi posteriorly, and the iliac crest inferiorly. After aseptic skin preparation, the needle is inserted perpendicularly to the skin. Two pops are felt by the operator as the needle is advanced. The first, as the needle pierces the fascial extension of the external oblique, and the second, as the needle pierces the fascial extension of the internal oblique. The needle reaches the transversus abdominis plane. It is important to aspirate before injecting 20 mL of local anesthetic per side. TEP block done under ultrasound guidance has the advantage of visualizing the needle during insertion to ensure correct placement. This avoids injuries and increases the success rates. The operator scans from the midline of the abdominal wall towards the area between the eyelid crest and the costal margin in the mid axillary line. The three muscle layers can be seen running parallel to one another, and the transversus abdominis plane can be identified between the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. The needle is inserted anterior to the transducer to allow an in-plane view of the needle as it advances to the transversus abdominis plane. Upon injection, the fascial plane is seen to separate and form a hypoechoic elliptical shape between the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. The absolute contraindications of TEP block are patient refusal, allergy to local anesthetic, and localized infection over the injection point. Relative contraindications include coagulopathy and surgery performed at the site of injection. Tap block is generally safe with few complications. Possible complications include failure of the block, bleeding, infection, local anesthetic toxicity, intraperitoneal injection, and visceral injury. There have been case reports of bowel hematoma, liver laceration, and intrahepatic injection. Tap block can be used for enhanced analgesia after surgery. It has been shown to lower post-op opioid requirements, which reduces respiratory depression and improves pulmonary mechanics. As visceral pain is not blocked, other modes of analgesia such as oral analgesia and patient-controlled analgesia will still play an important role in post-op pain management. The role of TEP block has been proven in lower abdominal surgeries as part of a multimodal analgesia regimen. Studies have shown that TEP block provided reliable blockade to levels T10 to L1. There is evidence for reduction in post-op pain and opioid requirement in the immediate post-operative period, although these effects are not sustained beyond that. 
these blocks are also superior to wound site infiltration with local anaesthetic. However, there is less evidence for laparoscopy and more well-designed randomized trials are needed. For caesarean sections, evidence suggests that TAP block reduced pain scores and analgesic requirements in patients who received spinal anesthesia, but these benefits were not present in patients who received intrathecal morphine. To summarize, TAP block is generally safe, efficacious, and technically simple to perform with low complication rates. In recent years, numerous publications have shown potential for TAP block in post-op pain management. However, it remains underutilized in obstetrics and gynecology. With more research, education, and training in its use, it can be more widely incorporated into post-operative multimodal pain management pathways. Thank you.